Hello everyone, it's, and it's past noon, but I thought I could get on here and um, put um, what God has put on my heart uh, this week. He's really laid it on my heart to study the book of James. And I heard a pastor yesterday preaching on, I mean, having a Bible study about the book of James. And in James 1, it talks about how you be, um, it says, be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. That's James 1, 19. And then about the, the tongue, controlling the tongue. But this one about being swift to hear and slow to speak and slow to wrath. Have you ever been around somebody that will, they won't let you say one word? They talk and talk and talk and won't, won't you? They won't let you get in and say one word. Well, that's what that preacher was preaching about yesterday about, um, you know, we need to be slow to speak and be more wanting to listen and to others and to build one another up and by what we say is to build them up. So we should be really careful what we say because if you're tearing down that person, you're not helping them a bit. And when you say certain words that really hurt them, you know, you're, you're tearing, you're not building them up. But then it talks about the tongue in James, how the tongue is a little member, and it's um, the tongue is like fire, uh, um, and it's hard to control. You, it, the, the tongue is hard to tame. It's unruly, full of deadly poison. Um, out of the same mouth shouldn't proceed cursings and blessings. It ought not be. So just like a fountain sent forth shouldn't have sweet water and bitter water, you know? So whatever comes out of you, your tongue shouldn't be that like that, you know? But the tongue is hard to tame. I remember one time uh, somebody went to church and asked the pastor to uh, put oil on their tongue and pray for their tongue. And the pastor took the whole bottle of oil and said, stick out your tongue, and he uh, anointed his tongue. But uh, the only thing that can help your tongue is to pray and ask God to help tame your tongue, because otherwise it's hard to tame. Uh, just like um, it says in the scriptures, it says, even so the tongue is a little member uh, and how great a member a little fire kindles. The tongue is like a fire, which uh, a world of iniquity, so the tongue among our members is defiled the whole body and set on fire, of course, of nature, and it's set on the fire of hell. For every kind of beast and birds and serpents and the things in the sea and um, mankind has been tamed, but the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. Therefore, bless we God, even the Father. Therefore, curse we men, that we make the uh, out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and cursings, my brother. That ought not be. Does a fountain send forth uh, sweet water and bitter water? Can a fig tree put forth uh, olive berries and and either a vine a fig so can the fountain both yield salt water and fresh water so who is a wise man adores the knowledge among you that a good conversation his words were meekness of wisdom but if you have bitter strife in your heart glory not he's not and lie not against the truth. The wisdom is uh, descended not from above, but is earthly, sensualist, and devilish. For every, where there's envy and strife, there's confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that's from above is pure, peaceful, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy. 
the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Amen. I like that. But anyway, I've gone on five minutes, so I better get off this phone. Y'all have a great weekend. Love you. Bye.